Good morning to you. The State Board of Education will take a vote a little later on this morning. Of course, CPS has been preparing now for months to get uh, get kids back into school full time next fall. Now, the State Board says it got guidance from the Illinois Department of Public Health and cites the state should be in phase five of the Restore Illinois plan by mid-June, which would mean capacity limits for public gatherings would be lifted and things are supposed to be back to normal. The resolution voted on today does not include a vaccine mandate but does strongly encourage those who are eligible to get vaccinated right now those 12 and older are able to get the Pfizer vaccine the state board's resolution also mentions the rapid testing being done at schools across the state and testing for vaccines for kids younger than 12 as well as the benefits of in-person learning the state does carve out some exceptions for in-person learning which include kids with medical conditions in a board spokesperson told the Tribune there is also some built in flexibility to offer remote learning to students on an individual basis. CPS told the paper it will offer remote learning for students who are unable to return to class next fall. Now the State Board of Education's resolution also mentions the billions in federal dollars coming uh, to the state for pandemic aid that would be able to help schools get ready and open up for five days a week to have students back in the classroom. We are live in North Center this morning. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.